What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another NASCAR diecast review. Today we're going to be reviewing this number 7 Kyle Larson Silverado truck. This is his North Wilkesboro raced version and he ran for Spear Motorsports. Uh, of course in the Craftsman truck series. And, you know, I've, I've kind of already looked through the truck. I've opened it up and everything, but we're going to, you know, show you a more closer look and give you my opinions on it. It tells you one of 1,188. Standard finish. So we're going to open this up and take it out. Show you everything that comes with it. And all that stuff. Here, get the paperwork out of there. So, it comes with this Lionel Racing customer return exchange policy if you don't like the truck or something, I guess. But they're not going to give you your money back. They'll probably, they might exchange it for another one, which I don't know how that all works because I never had to worry about it. And then you got your build your own virtual garage card and everything. Nothing on the back. And then you got the race win sticker. And then you got the card that tells you that you won it. Kyle Larson, Tyson, Tyson 250 winner. Must be a lot of chicken up there. May 20th, 2023, North Works, Wilkesboro, North Carolina, race version, Craftsman Truck Series. 2023. And then over, does again, who won it? Time of race, 2 hours, 17 minutes, 25 seconds, start position 8, total laps, 252, 157.5 miles. Number of cautions, 12 laps for 81, or 12 for 81 laps. Laps led by winner, 138. Margin of victory, 0.974 seconds. So, take him out. And like I said before, I've already opened this one up and looked at it and kind of went over and everything. Um, I like the truck, but I am disappointed in Lionel's craftsmanship um, compared to the last couple of years. Their craftsmanship on these is really starting to go down the tubes and their detail department. Uh, I don't know over in China what kind of uh, detail they got over there. But the outside of the truck is, is detailed good. Um, paint, everything, all that is, is good. Tires, you know race damage or race stuff that's all that's good but it's just they're just not doing very good and what i what i would tell is details is like the underneath okay this is like one big piece of hunk of plastic there's no detail at all none you know years ago you know five six maybe even seven years ago these things were like mint they were perfect that all the everything all the parts were all separate you know it's like i understand you're trying to save money but why raise the prices on your die cast and then hey let's just do a lot poor job on our attention to detail and we'll just do that so you're gonna charge almost a hundred dollars for a car and it probably only costs like five dollars to make and you're just gonna be real stingy on the detail underneath you know and then you know if you even looked at her there's no engine in there there's no detailed engine obviously you can't even open up the hood there's no roof flaps you know and and here this should be like fabric and it's like hard plastic it's like come on are you kidding me really I spent a hundred dollars on this truck, this die cast, and I feel like I'm not even getting my money's worth. So, I mean, I got like six more cars that I pre-ordered from last year. Some Harvick cars, a Ryan Blaney car. Um, I think I might have another Larson car, but I'm pretty sure after 
after I get those cars, I'm done buying from Lionel. Unless they get their uh, craftsmanship up and their detail department gets better. But, you know, I, I don't understand. I mean, I do understand, but I, I think for what it costs for these cars, these things should be like Franklin Mint. That's what they should be. They should be just like Franklin Mint cars. Yeah, I just, I don't understand why they're getting stingy and all their attention to detail. I just, I just don't. But all in all, it's a great truck. You know, I have no problems with the body itself, just the underneath and the, and the detail. That's, you know, I, I don't understand it. It should be a lot better for what you're getting. So, I mean, if you've already ordered this truck, I'm not saying send it back or anything. I'm just, this is just my opinion. The truck itself is great. It's just the detail department really stinks. And for what they cost, it should be way better. Way better. So, anyhow, there you have it. That's my opinion on the die cast. You know, I, like I said before, this ain't nothing to do with Kyle Larson. I, he's my favorite driver, but I just wish Lionel would do a better job at their die cast department and... Just being better with these things. You know, if you're going to spend $100 on a car, the thing should be perfect. It should look like a Franklin Mint car. I mean, if you bought one of those and compared it to this, it would make this thing look like a uh, one of those, you know, off-brand Hot Wheel cars. So, this is my opinion. So, I want to tell you guys, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Like I said, I'm not... Trying to be mean towards Lionel, but I just wish they'd be better. So, thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.